Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Black Panther Toys R Us exclusive two-pack of Claw and Shuri, which is a very interesting pack because the original Claw figure that we got is easily one of the most why would I buy that figures that Marvel or that Hasbro has released in the Marvel Legends line. And Shuri is this we haven't gotten one before, so we have it a an attempt here at a new claw figure and a whole new character so it's a pretty exciting set so let's go ahead and get them off the stand and see if it's worth buying all right so i'm just going to run both these figures in the same review hopefully you guys don't mind a couple minutes longer than normal uh this guy stands just shy of 16 and a half centimeters which makes him just about six and a half inches and i have to tell you right off the bat it is markedly better than the first release of claw this is one of the better bodies that we have right now Maybe, arguably, the best body that we have going on right now, not counting Bucky Cap, and this may even dethrone that one. But it's a really, really solid mold, so that's a good thing. Uh, there's minimal paint on here, so there's not too much for them to screw up. What is painted is done pretty well. Those black lines are pretty clean. The purple is, of course, clean inside the black. And then the paint job on the face. While not all of them are perfectly good, this one, no real issues. It looks nice. The eyes are painted well, the mouth lines, the teeth, the head... It's all pretty solid. There's one glaring issue with this guy and that comes in with his accessory. And so he has this again. We are back to using the bubble effect. And if you pose him like it shows you on the package, which is how you would assume you'd pose him, you do this and it doesn't even clip on. It just kind of sits there. So it's like the most half-assed accessory ever, which is kind of disappointing. You know, it doesn't, It like, it's just so, so not good. But I, it's, it is an accessory, so we'll not worry about it too much. Otherwise, the figure's solid. One thing to note, though, the forearm was molded in this gray plastic, so they had to paint the red. It doesn't really match. It's fairly glossy compared to the rest. But uh, otherwise, it's pretty nice. I like that they molded him in this... It's just barely, but it is t a tiny bit metallic, like a pearly plastic, and it looks really, really nice. So with that nice paint job on top for the face, it just kind of makes this guy stand out. So that's pretty cool. As far as articulation goes, we do have the hinge, which lets him look all the way up, all the way down. Of course, you can rotate side to side. You do have the ball peg in there for a little attitude, uh, a little bit of lollipop. You can see the head's kind of levitating off of the neck there. I wish they would just kind of rein that in because you can still keep all of that range and not have a big gap. But this one's not a terrible example of it, so it's, it's okay. Uh, we do have this really solid butterfly joint which is in this body uh, much like the uh, killmonger figure i just reviewed this is how you do a butterfly joint very very well handled very very nicely done for the shoulders a little tricky to raise the arms up you kind of have to force them but you can do it this shoulder ball will tuck into the butterfly so it's not a big deal and then of course you have full rotation bicep swivel double jointed elbows his elbows don't have the best range you really don't get too much better than 90. Uh, I guess it's just because he's a little bit more bulbous, even though he's kind of trim. It's not a big deal. I think that's okay. Could be better, but it's okay. You have a swivel here and a hinge for that side. And on this side, everything's the same, except you just have this. Which is, I mean, it's kind of a crap sculpt. There's not really any detail at all, but does it need to be there? I don't think so. I think it's okay. I heard some people say it's like it looks like a cartoon thing, and... Yeah, it does. I think that's okay though, but I guess that's up to you if you don't like the way it looks. Uh, for the ab crunch, you get one notch back and it's he's got a little bit of that preg pregnant thing going on that we saw with Bullseye and whoever else had this. What was it? I can't remember. But it's not terrible. You're probably not going to notice it too much. The only reason that's really the case is they have this rib cage part sticking out like basically as far, if not farther, than the pecs. So when you lean him out, he looks like he's kind of Got a food baby or something going on, but either way, it's a functional ab crunch, so I, I'm going to give it to him. I think it's all right. A waist twist is fine. Oddly ratcheted. I think maybe there's extra flashing in there maybe, but it's kind of ratcheted. doesn't really matter, but it's there. Uh, not the best range going out to the side for the hips, but it's probably good enough, especially for claw. No, no fault for this guy. All the way forward, no real big deal, except it does fling the leg out to the side just a little bit, but it's not too bad. Going back is pretty much impossible. Thigh swivel's fine and nicely hidden, so that's good. The knees work no problem at all. Very nice. 
Uh, the shin swivel is one of the be best examples of a shin swivel we've seen. Not because it's hidden by a boot, obviously it's not, so that's not ideal. This is ugly as hell, but when it's not being used, it is a flawless seam. Very nicely done. I like that. You can barely even tell it's there, so that's a good thing if you don't like using those. The ankles go all the way back, and not too far forward, but probably far enough. And then you get a really, really nice ankle rocker. Almost no angle to it at all, so that's good. So... Also, I want to point out one thing. Technically speaking, this joint right here isn't an ankle rocker. I, the only reason I call it that is because the original uh, Marvel Legends ankle joint was an ankle rocker that had the pegs going forward and back, and you could actually rock the foot on it. That's why I call it an ankle rocker. This is really just a swivel hinge for the ankle, but I call it that just because that's what it used to be called, and it's... It's in my head, just in case anybody was curious about that. But yeah, okay, this guy's a really good version of Claw. Definitely, you want to pick this guy up. I forgot we were doing a two-figure review, and I'm rambling, so let's move on to Shuri. We do have an accessory, which is her spear. Nicely handled. It's got a decent paint job at the top, and the sculpt is pretty soft, but definitely good enough. We do also have her cape, which is a cape we've seen a few times now. This time, though, the purple is a nice, vibrant purple, and the furry part at the top... It's got some shading in it, and it looks pretty good, so no complaints there. Still gets in the way of the shoulders in a significant way. You can count her necklace and belt, I guess, as an accessory. The necklace more than the belt, uh, but they fit on the figure well enough. Uh, the belt kind of sits in a little bit of a weird way, but the necklace hangs pretty well. As far as paint goes, we just have the stripes on the gloves, which will match the uh, other Black Panther that I reviewed the other day, the one with the cape, so that's pretty good. And then we do have her wrapped feet, I guess, which is a really clean paint job. I was expecting them to screw up way more of the line work, but this is, it's almost perfect. It's really, really well handled, so that, that pleases me. And the eyes are done nicely, too. As far as the articulation goes, well, the head is super lollipoppy. It sticks on the top of the head, or on the top of the neck by a whole lot. She looks like an alien. That is not good. You can see, like, so much of that hinge in there. Definitely not a good situation. I mean, sure, you get a ton of range out of that ball peg, but you don't need it, and it looks absolutely ridiculous in most cases. Of course, the hinge is there, and you can use it, but, <laughs> I mean, it's just... It looks like the neck is broken pretty much whenever you try to pose it, other than putting it straight out. And you can even see the peg, or the hinge part, doesn't even fit together very well. It's not the best execution ever, by any means. The shoulder, however, works fine. It's a little stiff, but... Full range all the way around, no issues with that guy, no bicep swivel, but you do get it here with the elbow, which does give you a 90 degree bend. For the wrist, we have a swivel and a hinge. The hinge is this way, which is weird for this type of hand, but I don't know why you would have like a claw kind of hand that has a, a lateral hinge. That's kind of weird. For this hand, it makes sense. Anytime you have like a pole arm or a sword or anything, you want to have your hinge go that way so that they can hold it properly. So that's awesome. That's a really nice touch. Diaphragm joint works just fine, no issues there, belt floats, the hips, not the best range, but probably good enough, legs go all the way forward, they do fling out to the side a little bit, but that's still really good range, that's no problem at all, they don't really go back too far, thigh swivels fine, double jointed knees work just fine, and then lastly for the ankles, we have a hinge that works really, really well going all the way back, and although you can see the hinge is it's getting ready to break. I'm a little bit worried I'm going to break this thing. So be extra careful when you're posing it. It does go pretty far forward, though. And we have a nice enough ankle rocker, though mine is stuck. And if I twist it, it could break. So be careful with your ankle rockers. That seems to be the only real issue. So yeah, this is another solid figure. It's not particularly impressive. I mean, almost all the parts are reused and the head doesn't fit on the body quite right. But it's not bad, and the fact that it's in a two-pack with a really nice claw figure, which we kind of need, and we do need this figure since we haven't had a char this character before, I gotta say get this two-pack, guys. It's a really solid two-pack. I think you're gonna like it. I'm pleased with it, so you probably will be too. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and even if you didn't. And in the meantime... Keep collecting.